nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Please welcome the head of NASA, Jim Bridenstein. Fifty years ago, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin made history in an indelible mark when they planted an American flag on the moon. It is an achievement, yes. It is an achievement that only two other nations, the Soviet Union and China, have ever achieved to soft land a spacecraft on the moon. However, in just two weeks, the state of Israel hopes to join this elite club as just the fourth nation ever to achieve this remarkable feat. The fourth nation ever. Eight years ago, three Israeli engineers had a crazy idea to start a little nonprofit called Space IL. And the rest, as they say, is history. As we speak, the lunar lander Beersheet, a joint project of Space IL and Israel Aerospace Industries, is orbiting the Earth, preparing for the final leg of its journey. This is a remarkable moment in Israel's history. A tiny nation of just 8 million people, just 71 years old, has given birth to a startup that will become the first private spacecraft ever to reach the moon at a fraction of the cost of any mission before it. Now, I just mentioned that Israel is 71 years old. The name of this spacecraft is Beersheet, which means Genesis, the beginning. We are reminded that Israel is a little older than 71 years. This is a new frontier for space exploration. I am especially proud of the role that NASA has played to support this incredible mission. We are supplying vital components to the lander, and we will partner with them to conduct lunar research after they successfully land on the moon. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a historic moment, and today it is my great honor to welcome two of the heroes behind the mission to join us on stage, Morris Kahn and Yonatan Weintraub of Space IL. Hi, Joe. Start right there. Uh, um, I'd like to thank you throughout this journey. You've actually been, you, Jim, have been one of our supporters, and without you, I'm not sure we would have got to where we have. It has been a real honor. I really thank you, Jim. I'd like to share a little story with you. I actually came to Cape Canaveral about a month ago to see putting our little spacecraft, Bereshit, into this Falcon 9 rocket of Elon Musk's. <clears throat> and it was an amazing adventure. 
And I caught a plane. We were very busy for two weeks at Cape Canaveral. I ran to catch a plane. I got to New York. And as we landed, I lost my balance. I couldn't walk. I couldn't stand. They had to help me to the exit of the plane. And then they took me to where you board the plane, and they called a paramedic. And the paramedic checked me. He checked my blood pressure, and he said, what do you do? I said, I'm putting a spacecraft on the moon. <laughs> he said, sir, I think you should go to hospital. <laughs> this has been for me an amazing project. Eight years ago, I met Jonathan and two of his friends. They'd come out of a bar. They had an idea to put the spacecraft <clears throat> on the moon. I gave them $100,000, and $42 million later, here we are. <laughs> Still the cheapest mission in history. <laughs> I must tell you, I had a birthday a few weeks ago on the 5th of March. I turned, I turned 89. <clears throat> and I got, I got a unique gift. I got a selfie from Bereshit a picture of the Earth, a picture together with Bereshit, and a little plaque that said, small country, big dreams. This, <clears throat> I think this is the most expensive selfie in history. <laughs> but it was worth it. I think this is gonna be the best investment that I have ever made. And I thank you for your support. And I thank you, Jim, for your support. It's my honor. <clears throat> now, before I finish, I'd just like to say that this year, we celebrate 50 years of the Apollo landing. And it was an amazing feat. And one of the people who landed was actually Buzz Aldrin. Now, Buzz is a friend of mine, and uh, we've been together for about 20 years. We're the same age, and we like each other. And uh, I tell you, when I'm with Buzz, people come to him and say, Mr. Aldrin, I know where I was when you landed on the moon and I have a photograph taken with him. And I know where I was when Buzz landed on the moon. And I want to tell you, I think that we in Israel and every Jew in the world will know where they are when Bereshit lands on the moon. I have only one prayer, and I say, Bereshit, travel well, land peacefully, and make us all proud. Thank you. Jonathan. We started Space IL to inspire a new generation of dreamers and explorers to reach beyond our horizons and discover the unknown not just in Israel, but all around the world. Back then, we can only imagine that this day would come. Thank you all for dreaming with us this many years. We couldn't ask for better friends to join us in this journey. Our mission has shown that when America and Israel dream, nothing is impossible. We hope We hope that wherever we go next, we'll go there together. Thank you.
Thank you very much.